It is Monday, so Ginny joins us on set with a look at some trending news. What do you have for us today, Ginny? This one's like the Jetsons segment, I guess, the kind of the futuristic. Okay. You just wait okay. and see. <laughs> so to start off, we're going to start with Beam Me Up, Scotty. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance... Re Reconnaissance Orbiter has discovered a highly illogical formation on the Red Planet. And if you are a Star Trek fan, it's it appears familiar. to be the Starfleet <laughs> symbol from the TV and movie show. But before you set your phasers to stun before launching photon torpedoes, this footprint poses no threat to anybody. It's left by dunes. And at some point in Martian history, a volcanic eruption spewed out lava that moved around in that crescent shape where the dunes once stood. And then the wind kind of did the rest of the work there. What I don't think it's a coincidence. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, a little <laughs> suspicious here. <Yeah. laughs> Pretty spooky. And then on to the next one here. Speaking of outer space, weren't we supposed to have flying cars by now? No. Well, we, <laughs> we don't, but how about a personal spacecraft? Lexus unveiled its QZ-618 Galactic Enforcer jet on Wednesday. And it can transform into this thing at the push of a button. If it sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. It is part of the new Men in Black movie that oh. is coming out. It has a lot of really, really cool features, including 6,000 languages that Alexa can speak in. <laughs> it can travel to anywhere and some other non-fictional technology. Hmm. Wonder if the station will get us those for news cars next. Well, we got to get to those <laughs> scenes pretty quick. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Then on to the last one here, back on Earth. Some studies show that attaching simple LED lights to nets reduces the amount of turtles that can accidentally be caught up in them by 80%. Additional research indicates that the technique can also keep birds, sharks, and dolphins out of them. These nets are used worldwide, but they're not selective in which animals they catch and are catching animals that they are not intending to by bycatch. It wastes time for fishing operations and is killing different species of animals. So they are hoping to see whether attaching these lights can do the trick for them. Yep, I was glad they're finally making an attempt. I mean, you, if you think about how long they've been using these nets and right. just about time that they uh, try to figure out a solution to that. So turn it. on the lights for those turtles. Exactly. All right, thank you so much, Jenny.